Hello there world, Brendan Raymond here talking to you again. Um, this time I'm in Kayama at, well not right now at my grandparents place but that's where I'm staying. Um, but right now I am just down from the headland and right near the cave actually. Um, you can kind of see down there the water that's going into the cave, you can't really see the cave from here, you really need to be on the other side to see it properly. Maybe I should have done it from there, but I can't really get to the other side from here. Oh well. Um, but you can kind of see it, sort of, um, maybe from there. I can't really see what you're seeing because I'm pointing it away from me, but yeah. Cool. Anyway, that's where I am. So, I thought I'd do a bit of a chat to you about next year like I was doing it this time last year. <laughs> um, yeah, so as um, if you've been keeping up with my blog, um, you may be aware that um, this year was not exactly how I thought it would turn out, um, in both a good and a not so good way. Um, and that's meant that I've um, finished up as a trainee at Vimmering Adventures um, for this year. So I won't be continuing with the traineeship next year, so I won't be continuing with the tape course either. Um, yeah, I'm still staying on with Vimmering as a uh, casual, possibly doing uh, bits of office work here and there, depending on how that plays out, not sure exactly. Working on a couple of things here and there for them, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, finishing up with um, that as a full-time position anyway. And if you've been keeping up with the blog, you'll also be aware that next year, this coming year, coming 2014, I am going to be um, doing impart. Now impart, little block there is like the big brother of Navigate, um, if you church people who are looking at this. Um, for you non-church people who have no idea what I'm talking about, Impart and Navigate are two course type things that are both done through um, the Churches of Christ um, denomination, um, sort of a, a company that they've set up called Fresh Hope and then also through ACOM, which is the um, something College of Ministries. I don't think it's Anglican, so I'm not sure. Anyway, and then because it's a course, um, it's that bit's done through the Sydney College of Divinity. Um, so essentially, Navigate is geared at, kind of, it's kind of like a year 13 sort of thing, people's pretty much straight out of high school or soon out of high school. And that does four units of a diploma of Christian ministries, I'm pretty sure it's a diploma, and then, well that's an eight unit course all up, but they do four units of that. And then it heavily focuses on treks and a uh, mission at the end of the year. And that has about, I think, eight and nine people. Ish. Then Empire and doesn't have the treks and the mission. It has six units instead of the four. So you've only got two left if you want to finish the diploma. And then it focuses more on doing the course as a community and having that sort of community atmosphere. And again you're doing it with only um, eight or nine people. My ear is still being weird, but I'll live with it. Yeah, so in part is the one that I'm doing. Um, I thought that was um, better for where I'm at right now, and a few other people thought the same thing, so that's what I've decided to go with. Yeah, so I'm really excited for um, for that and where that's, um, um, what that's going to do for me, and all that sort of thing. Um, I don't know, I was saying a similar thing last year, but, oh well, yeah. <laughs> we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. Um, 
I'm pretty sure that this is where God wants me right now, and I think He's going to do some pretty cool things um, this year. Um, apart from that, I'm looking into um, hopefully being more involved in the church this year. I'm hoping to get involved with the um, local missions team and uh, you know making sure I get to church every week which I wasn't able to before because of work um, and then you know getting to Bible study every week being more involved with youth group um, all that sort of thing and you know being more in involved with the different things I'm already doing like playing at church doing the sound desk the computer um, leading communion, all that sort of thing. Um, side note, in, let's see, how many days? Two days in a week, so that's nine days, I am actually doing a sermon. Not a sermon, but a sermon. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing one of the weeks in the series that our church does every January called um, Real, Real Stories, Real Faith which is essentially people from the um, people from the congregation giving their testimony, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty cool that they asked me to do it. So, yeah. Um, so that, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that in nine days or nine days from when I'm talking now, not necessarily nine days from when I upload this, because chances are I won't upload this today. Um, so it might be less than nine days. It probably will be less than nine days. Anyway, so that's cool. And if you want to know the details about that, I... Well, if you know me on Facebook, I've got an event that I linked on my Facebook page that you can find. Otherwise, um, like I said, it's in nine days, which makes it the... It's either the 5th or 6th of January. I can't remember which. Whichever one's the Sunday. And it's the PM service at Campbelltown Church of Christ, which is at 6 o'clock PM, not AM, hence the PM service. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then as well this coming year, I'm hoping to get more into my music. So I've got some ideas already, hopefully, happening on a roll, happening on a roll, happening. Um, so one of those I'm hoping to be able to do is an album launch, um, either in January or February, um, depending on people and all that sort of thing will depend on when I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I'm just hoping to be able to do it before I get too involved with, um, and before Impart um, makes me too busy, I guess. <laughs> is what I'm hoping, um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, depends on how I can get with working with other people and all that sort of thing. But yeah, that's what I'm hoping to be able to do. I'm hoping to be able to launch my album at my church, actually. Um, the About You album, which I can link to in the description below on my Bandcamp page. Yeah, so hopefully that will be happening. As well as that, I have recently acquired Ableton Live 9 standard um, as one of my birthday presents this year, so that was pretty cool. And I've also acquired Ableton Push, and I've acquired a laptop, <laughs> which is um, pretty cool, but that, um, that combination of three things means I can um, take those three, because it's called Ableton Live, it's specifically designed for live playing and Essentially, it's a music program that's designed to be able to um, create and control and manipulate and play music all at the same time. And then Ableton Push is like a controller to help you do that better. Ish. Simple explanation. Well, sort of. Anyway, so I'm hoping to be able to use that to maybe do gigs um, and that sort of thing. If I can get the hang of it. Um, which I think I should be able to, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. 
and then I've also been getting into doing a bit of ukulele, which is cool. Um, got into that from a friend of Boomerang actually, which was which was nice. So I have a ukulele, which means um, possibly doing a bit of busking, and I'm hoping to be able to get another instrument that will also be conducive to the uh, busking scene, but um, still in conferral with a friend about about exactly what sort of one I'm getting there, because it's a bit of choice involved. I want to get the right one, as you do, you know, I want to get one that sounds nice, of course. Um, but yes, so I'm hoping to be able to do a bit of gigging, a bit of busking, all that sort of thing this year, and, you know, that sort of thing, because at the moment my uh, monetary intake is looking to be not that much. Yes, because my only job at the moment is casual at Boomerang, so I don't have any other work at the moment. Unless, um, you know, someone decides to give me a job or I get lots of people asking me to proofread stuff for funny cash dollars. Yay! Anyway, so they're my current ideas. But I have no idea how they're going to go. Um, God does. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping he knows what he's doing. Well, of course he knows what he's doing, but I don't know what he's doing. I suppose is more the thing, which, yeah, I think this year is going to be a bit of a lesson for me trusting in God and Him knowing what He's doing, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm, well, that's where this year is at at the moment for me, and yeah, a bit of a little update for you so far. Cool. See you later.